going on, everyone? Um, I don't have a way to prop this up, do I? Ill prepared for class again. <laughs> I guess I could do it right there. I could prop it up right there. But then I want to have this table here. I guess I could use that table. I guess I could do that. We'll do that. I'll set you guys up right here. get something what's going on what's up what's up dim guts how you doing bud i'm in my hotel room just kind of enjoying the ac it's hot as shit down here it's like 92 degrees uh <laughs> see if i can get this propped up of course it's just gonna be just not the right size um bunch of stuff happened today um, I just, I'm uploading a, the action force, uh, as you can see all my dirty laundry right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm uploading the action force stuff, um, right now, uh, should be uploading to YouTube. I think I uploaded it on the Strident Facebook page. If you guys want to check that out, you can, um, I got a bunch of shit here. I'm going to go through. I'm going to just try and figure this situation out. Let me just get, uh, let me get, see if I can do some of this. A little bit of that and then a couple of those there we go that's better now i can see everything um yeah i actually got more more stuff today than i did yesterday to be honest with you um <laughs> which is uh surprised that i really didn't think i was going to be buying much this year i just wanted to get a couple few things and mostly just kind of talk and chat with people that was kind of the uh for the most part what i wanted to do um, let me, I'm just going to bring this up and cause this way I can just check the chat. It's just easier this way if I bring it up on two devices it's price for all. and we'll mute that. There we go. Now I can see the chat. It's so much easier doing it on two devices. I might have to just do this from now on. But anyway, so there was a bunch of reveals today and yesterday. Marauders was the, uh, all the stuff yesterday that we did. And then, uh. I wish I could just just blow that up. Um, hope I'm having fun despite the weather. Actually, the weather's pretty sunny and nice here. <laughs> like plastic crack in a hotel room. I know, right? <laughs> um, but so yesterday, I'll, I'll go over the Marauders reveals. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. We're getting finally. We're going to be getting. Um, like Navy SEALs and uh, divers and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. Um, been begging for that stuff for a very long time. Um, and from Marauders, they're also going to be doing um, uh, Halo jumpers and paratroopers and stuff. So I'm like, that's right up my alley, <laughs> if, if you know what I mean. Like, I, I love me some paratroopers. I love me some Halo jumpers. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked for those. <laughs> I know Jay, right? Um, so pretty, pretty excited for a lot of those. The, um, the reason why I didn't really, I know there's a couple of people that were asking me, why didn't you just upload the Vietnam stuff? The camera tilt, when I turned it to adjust the camera, if for some reason it messed up or didn't adjust the other way that I wanted it to. And it was just like the whole footage would be you standing here, staring at the footage like this. So if you want to check it out, I upload it to my ODC It's Me page and the Strident page. I uploaded the separate videos for Marauders yesterday. Um, but the edited video that I uploaded today does not have the Vietnam stuff on it. I just didn't, I don't know. I thought, I thought people were going to give me a lot of shit for that. So I just didn't even bother uploading it. Um, but they gave me like a ton of, like, they gave you like a ton of free shit. So I guess last year they had like a whole dinner and everything. And this year they didn't do the dinner. They just offered like cookies and water and drinks and stuff, which is fine. I don't, I don't need someone to, to subsidize me dinner. Um, I went ahead and got dinner after. Um, but uh, it was really cool that they, you know, they, I guess they kind of felt bad and they were like, well, we'll give you free figures and we'll give you a bunch of free shit. 
So I was like, oh, okay, I'm down for that. So I got this t-shirt, which is Marauder's Mayhem 2, which is pretty awesome. Um, it does have a logo on the back too. You guys can see that. So it's a pretty cool shirt, pretty awesome. Um, I also got my own name tag right there, which is pretty cool. So, um, and there's actually a, like a number right there. And that was the number that they used for the raffle that they had. I didn't end up winning anything. Um, they kept dancing around my number. Um, I guess I was the last number, the last person to join into the Marauders thing. So, um, <laughs> I think they called like every number in the fifties, except for mine. <laughs> it was like number 53. And I was like, uh, no. Number 54. I was like, uh, no. <laughs> so, but it's all good. I'm still happy with everything. Um, they gave out these face masks with the Marauder logo on it. Not that I'm, you know, I'm vaccinated and I keep getting COVID tests, so I should be good to go with that. The only reason I have to wear a mask is for work, so. Uh, but they gave out these masks. They look pretty cool. I'll take it out of the package so you guys can see it. There we go. So they gave these out. And there actually is a bendy wire in there. Most masks don't have bendy wires, which is annoying as shit. Um, next up, they gave us this pocket knife. And I don't know if you guys can see the engraving in there. But it actually says Marauders, Gunrunners, Marauders, Task Force, 4-inch gear, uh, home of the modular mayhem. So, pretty cool stuff right there. So, that's pretty nice. Nice little souvenir. Um, next up, they gave me a hat. So, I, I feel like that's fitting. I should just throw this one off and put this one on, right? And that's what it looks like, pretty much. It says Marauder's Mayhem on there. Uh, I already showed you this. Next up, <laughs> I thought this was kind of funny. It's like, uh, do we have do we have homework? <laughs> that's what I asked during the panel. Because they gave us a pen that says the same Marauder's great, uh, engraving on there. Um, and then they gave us this notebook. <laughs> I was like, are we are we supposed to be taking notes here? What, what's What's going on? <laughs> uh, next up, they gave us a patch, Marauder's patch, a pin, little pin, same logo and everything. And I think that's it as far as like, oh no, well, I got these these two guys right here. Um, but yeah, that's all the like the 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 like swag, I guess. <laughs> People still call it swag, uh, <laughs> swag. Uh, but they also gave us um, one of the uh, Cobra Vipers um, that are actually all new painted. Um, as you can see, we don't we haven't had a red and blue body yet. So this is an all new body that's been painted. Well, not an all new body, but a new body that's been painted. Um, so this is a Cobra Viper. And where is his stuff? Jossie, I got you. Yours is right here. So... I got one, you got one, and then I got uh, Strident, he wanted uh, Duke, so I got him Duke. Um, and then the, so the free one that they gave me was the Cobra Viper, and then the the Cobra Bat, which is pretty cool that they're actually doing a Cobra Bat, kind of. <laughs> um, they didn't call it that, obviously, they called it something else, they called it like the... The, I don't know, it's in the video, you guys can check it out, but <laughs> he's got a ton of accessories. I'm going to be putting both of these two together on a, um, what was it, one of my Build a G.I. Joe videos. So expect those videos coming very soon. As soon as I probably get home, I'll probably do some of those videos. Um, I got some more Marauder stuff the night of because I said, if you, you know, you can get a chance to get some of this stuff now, this way, you know. It's not sold out tomorrow. So I ended up picking up a couple things. Um, I picked up this Desert Trooper and he's got like a different, he's got like a totally different kind of camo on him. And I'm just taking him out of the package so you guys can see. But his camo pattern is much different on the body than before. So I don't know who I'm gonna use this for yet, uh, but he came with a ton of accessories and stuff. 
So there's that. Um, next up, they did their version of an Alley Viper. And the new body that they use, well, it's not like I keep saying new body, but the new painted body, I should say, that they use has got this like red and black and silver paint going throughout even the uh the pads i know my face is getting zoomed in on so i'll try to get out of the way but it looks pretty cool though and it comes with like a ton of accessories everything that you would think uh, alley viper would come with even comes with a shield and everything um what else uh oh i know strident wanted this um <laughs> And I, I needed her for the Russian group I'm still trying to build up because we all know how expensive that Jocon exclusive Russian pack is. So it's just, I think I saw someone at JoeFest trying to sell it for like $1,100. I'm like, get the fuck out of my face with that shit. Anyway, but I got the <laughs> Russian sniper. <laughs> Where's JoeFest? JoeFest is in Augusta, Georgia. It's usually every year. Um, Stalker, Outback, or Rakondo? Yeah, I, I mean, I've already done a Rakondo, and I have a Stalker, um, Outback, yeah, maybe. New Dusty, possibly. I already, ha I already made a Dusty, that's the thing. I want, I would, I'd probably want to do someone else, like, maybe, like, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure it out. I could, I could do, like, a Dusty 2.0, but... Eh, maybe not. Uh, but, yeah. So, next up, they actually had... I was actually surprised that they did this. They actually did Crazy Legs, the classic version. So, you guys saw my version of Crazy Legs, which was kind of like an amalgamation of classic meets, um, you know, Night Force crazy legs it's kind of in between the two but they went with the classic version here and it's actually pretty clever how they did the parachute straps which is actually the dog collars and i'll show you guys how to do all of that once i <laughs> once i start doing all of these i'll probably end up trying to do all of these in one video because they're i mean they're already geared up they already have a theme i've already gone through them pretty much so we'll do this all in one video it'd be one nice big long video um, so that'll be a lot of fun to do. So stay tuned for those. Um, Russian Sniper, um, Crazy Legs, and, uh, the Alley Vipers, and then the Viper and the Cobra Bat. Um, in the future, they're going to be coming out with, uh, Cobra Bat arms, the Cyborg arms. And they announced that in the video, so be sure to check that out in the video. Um, but they're also coming out with, heads um bat heads too so it's it's pretty uh fun time to be a marauders collector so um next stuff i picked up i picked up some like customized stuff some customization stuff which is pretty cool and it most of the stuff is three and three quarter inch scale four inch scale for the most part i look like nomad from breakpoint <laughs> oh shit i'm about to fuck some shit up right <laughs> trek yards oh my god thanks so much dude that's that's very nice of you you don't have to do that i appreciate it thank you for the super chat i i'm glad to share i'm glad to share anything you know i'm gonna be sharing a whole bunch of stuff i got a whole bunch of other cool stuff here that i picked up um but yeah, Trek Yards, thank you so much, man. That's very nice of you. Um, so uh, I went to this this Dio display little booth. It was like a teeny little booth right next to, I think, where Sergeant Slaughter was and then Action Force was set up. And um, I thought it was pretty cool. He had these like little bottles and like, here, I'll just bring them out. He had these like little bottles. I even got little tiny, teeny tiny shot glasses. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see them with my fat hands in the way. But there's a little shot glass. Hopefully I don't lose that. Better put that shit back in the bag. <laughs> they have like little beakers and like little like lab stuff in there, little like measuring things. Here's like a another like a 
like a medical or like a beaker or something, whatever the hell these things are called. Lab type uh, stuff. And then we got some, you know, we got some, <laughs> we got some Jameson right here. <laughs> so that'll go with the bar scene that I have. Um, and then we got some beer bottles here. I know, I know, uh, well, I don't have a, I was looking for a green bottle of one of these, so I was going to call it the Hennessy, you know. I know how Hennessy, for some reason, in, down south is scarce right now, but <laughs> but this will just be a uh, wild turkey, you know. It'll be some wild turkey, and <laughs> all my Joes will have fun. So, there's that. Um, also, they had all these, like, frosted mugs and stuff, and these were, like, I think it was, like, eight bucks for the whole set. Um, he ended up doing like, I think, I think I, I think I paid like 13 or 14 bucks for everything together. So it's not bad. Little stuff, little cool little things that you can add to your displays that just make them whole, you know, at the end of the day. So that's all the Marauder stuff. Let me just get, um, organized here. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to do these. I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Uh, okay. So action for, well, actually, let me get this, uh, this stuff. Um, up to you. I saw another customizer. Um, oops, I'm bumping the table. Um, I saw another customizer that was doing a bunch of like casts and stuff like that. So I picked up the Globulus, this Globulus kit he had, which is just the, I just got to take this stuff out because you're not gonna be able to see it through the bag. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time doing that. <laughs> All right. So here's the Globulus head. And that looks really good. Let me block my face out so you guys can so can focus. No, it's still not going to focus. And we focus. Let me get out of the way. All the way out of the way. <laughs> but the head looks really good. Like I said, this the camera's not doing it justice um, right now. Here's the vest and everything that he's that he comes with. It's a very nice sculpt and everything and it's a pliable plastic like I can I can bend it and stuff it's not gonna break or anything that's pretty cool um, so I was like well I just picked this up so I might as well go ahead and pick Naga up <laughs> um, so Naga is going to be my Galobulus since I think he's he's pretty much the closest thing to a Galobulus that you can you can find. I might swap this uh, lower torso piece with like a green torso piece, um, just because Galapi's had more of like green tail to him. So I might swap that out um, and go ahead and do that. But this whole piece, this whole kit, everything together, um, I think this was what six bucks for that, um, and then this was twenty. So. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, and then over here, got a couple others. I got an Overlord kit, and then I got a Ferret kit. I think that's his name, the uh, Ferret for the Iron Grenadiers. Let me just take this out. Comes with his helmet and his chest piece, so that's what it'll look like. there so that's pretty cool and then the overlord set came with a ton of stuff and then he let me take an extra free head too which is off of a hydro viper i don't know why hasbro hasn't made a hydro viper but maybe one day <laughs> one day before i die they'll make an, a modern uh hydro viper until then i have this head <laughs> and i will make one myself damn it uh <laughs> But the uh, Overlord set came with this chest piece, his helmet piece, which is all like a pliable, nice plastic. And then, because I have the original Overlord, the Overlord head. Rage and Spoon, that's what it is. Yep, Rage and Spoon did all of this. Because they were actually right next to, and there we go with the claws, so... You can actually, uh, Dubai J, um, they, um, you can still get a Hydra Viper for pretty, you know, decent price. Um, I think they, I think the most I would ever, I ever spent on a Hydra Viper was like, 
I don't know, 12 bucks. You can, you can still get them for around there, complete and everything. For around, maybe, maybe around 20. Complete with the file card and everything. On card, it probably costs a lot more. But yeah, pretty excited about that. Pretty excited about um, gonna have finally a Galobulus, which I can't believe no one's made a, a, a damn Galobulus yet. Um, come on, Marauders. Marauders needs to like, they, they need to like, hey, nudge, nudge to uh, <laughs> Boss Fight Studios and be like, hey, let's let's try to get this Galobulus thing set. <laughs> Uh, let's try to get this done for the fans. I mean, you're already doing Cobra Bats. You're doing Cobra Vipers. We we all know that, you know, they know and we know that we're all customizing this stuff to, to look like G.I. Joe for the most part. Um, I still have my custom characters that I love. Um, but, um, you know, it'd be cool if they, you know, could get a Galobulus done. I think that'd be awesome. Like a, a shared exclusive or some sort of thing. That would be sweet. Um... And now Marauders is making a scuba ops body. Yeah, it is. It's making a scuba ops body. They're making um, astronauts. They're making, oh my God, what else? They're making more, um, uh, they're doing like a female, um, a female, uh, like, a, kind of like a night ops character. So it, it, they're, they're in the works of doing a lot more stuff. So it, it's good because I, I'll be honest with you, like I was kind of hitting a wall with Marauders and you guys know how much I love them. And, uh, but creatively I was kind of hitting that wall starting to a little bit, but um, we got a lot of cool stuff to look forward to in the future. Uh, next up, I went to the Valiverse table and I picked up a bunch of stuff. Um, I picked up, um, they, he just came out, Bobby Vela just came out with issue five. So I picked up all three, uh, versions of issue five. Um, there's this Joe Fest one, which is pretty cool. Um, and then there's the regular version one. And then there's this version of issue number five. So I pretty much have every issue now, um, Bobby did say in the panel that they're going to be doing a whole novel, a graphic novel. So that should be really cool too. Um, and they're going to try and I think they're going to get to a specific issue. And then they're going to, I think he said he's going to have a third party um, company start doing the, uh, the other issues, further issues into the future. So, I mean, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool and they're still going to have the same writer and everything. So that's, that's amazing. Um, so action force is doing some good stuff. Definitely doing some great stuff. What else did I get? Oh, I got the, uh, crimson, crimson shadow technologies, prototype arm armaments. Uh, I'm going to take all these out and show you guys all of them one by one. Um, this was the whole pack. They actually were selling these separately for, I think like a buck a piece. Um, but I think it was like, I think it was like 20 bucks for the set. I can't remember. Like 20, 25, something like that. But I missed out on this set initially. I just, I don't know. I'm ADD. I ADD'd really hard and <laughs> forgot to grab the set. But this set's really cool. This is all like the prototype. Um, so they're all just plain black. Um, the finished products that are coming out in August are going to be all painted and everything. So, and these already look great. Like the sizing of them looks proper for a six inch figure. Um, and they all have removable magazines. And they already have optics attached. Thanks Jossie, I appreciate that bud. I want the dude with the robot arm from Eagle Force. Oh, yeah, uh, Captain Eagle. Um, there was actually, I just posted a bunch of um, photos. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, Walter McLeod actually took those photos, and I uploaded them onto my ODC It's Me page. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. If you want to see the uh, 
the new reveals for Eagle Force. But uh, yeah, Captain Eagle, and he actually comes with an eagle that'll sit on his arm. I picked that up, so expect some Eagle Force reviews. That's I was trying to do the Eagle Force reviews before I left from home to come here, but I just didn't have time. There's too much stuff going on family-wise, and um, I just didn't have the time. So that and then work just sucked up my week last week. So, um, But then we have a scar with a silencer on it. That looks pretty cool. Uh, this is the... This looks like it's, no, but it doesn't. It looks like the barrel can move, but it can't. But that's okay, I don't need the barrel to move. Um, here is Sergeant Slaughter's big old, like, 44 mag. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Blow the canoe someone's head. Um, <laughs> we've got your HK MP5, one of my favorite guns. I Hopefully one day I will be able to own one or shoot one. That would be amazing. Um, we have this, and this is an actual real gun. I saw a bunch of videos where people were reviewing this pack and they couldn't think of this gun, but I'm pretty sure I know that this is an actual real gun. And I think it has an, um, internal silencer in it. That's why it's shaped the way it is. So it's pretty cool though. Um, next up we have what looks to be an HK pistol. I'm still hoping that Bobby Vala will come out with a SIG. <laughs> SIGs are some of my favorite guns. Um, I own two SIGs, so it'd be pretty awesome if we could get uh, some SIG models in the future. We got the traditional, you know, your typical 45, and then we got your Deagle right here. And I apologize for the video quality. Like I said, I'm in a hotel room. If I could give you guys better video quality, I would. Uh, hey, Andy, what's up, man? What's going on? And then we got a ton of, like, a ton of these. Let me just flip the camera around really quick. We got a ton of magazines. Like I said, we've got this, all this stuff. So this is pretty much what came in the first bag. Datalinks Magnus, what's going on? All right, let me get situated again here. <laughs> Flip this back around. Set you guys down again. And then we'll put this stuff away accordingly. And the let me just see how the magazines fit into the holes. I don't think it matters. It does. Okay. And they fit nice and tight. Um, they're a little bit loose. Let me try the other side. A little bit loose. But as you can see, it's not really coming out. It did feel a little bit loose for a second. I don't know, I might go ahead and just super glue that in, but you can fit them in there. It's not really coming out. Like, give it the shake test, it's not coming out, so. That's good, that's good stuff. And then let's test the other guns here. This looks to me to be I think in like an M4 style with a uh, M204 grenade launcher on it. And then the scar, we'll do that next. That's definitely a little loose. Still a little bit loose, but it's not coming out. Oh, actually that one came out. Oop, where'd that go? Meh, meh. So the scar one's a little bit loose. I might just end up super gluing that in. It's not the, the end of the world, really. Oh, wait. Now, there we go. Now it's not coming out. I had to flip it around, so that's actually user error on my part. But that's not coming out. Okay, next up. Let's see if we got that. Love those weapons. They came out good. Um, uh, they came out as good as I left. As I didn't even attempt to paint. Oh, there you go. All right, Marcus. All right, let's put that in there. And these are all work with your six-inch figures. So Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe, all that stuff. It'll all work with these. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he has these up on the website anymore. I wish he did. Um, I should have asked him at the panel. I asked him a bunch of funky ass questions but um 
So next up, we've got the grenade launcher, which this is probably what Gung Ho should have came with instead of that Nerf bullshit. Um, <laughs> that's just me, probably. But then next up, we have one of my favorite LMGs, which would be the saw. Um, let me just get that bipod in there. And the bipod is adjustable. You can move it. Let me get out of the way because it's all black. And there we go. And then we just want to put, put this in here. Like so. Just slide it in. Just slide it in. There we go. And that's what it looks like. It's just all black, which is fine. You can always paint these up, like I said. And it actually does hold its own weight and sit properly. Let me go ahead and flip around again. There you go. There's the grenade launcher. Looking sharp. Looking damn sharp. All right, I'll set you guys back over there. So that's pretty cool stuff. Um, next up, got another bag. This was all part of that same kit. All right, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff here. So next up, it looks like we have our AK, which is gonna go in this way. Now, if it's a real AK, it would have went in uh, front and then pushed down. <laughs> there we go. And that's how it look, just like that. Looking good. And it came with two extra mags. So pretty awesome. Awesome source. Awesome source. Um, next up, we've got the Chris Vector, one of my favorite guns. Um, this little baby has grown on me. I initially did not like the design when it came out. And then I was like, oh, you know what? It's pretty awesome. It's it's definitely one I want to say one of the better guns on the market. And you I think you can in real steel you can get this nine millimeter or forty five ACP, so pretty pretty dope. And I definitely plan on owning one of these. Um, there was actually a local uh, gunsmith that actually had one of these, um, had a, uh, a Chris Vector, um, but no one wanted to buy it. And then I was like, at the time I didn't have the money. I was like, ah, I should have bought you. Damn it. <laughs> Oops, something just fell off. I don't know where it went. It's just vanished into obscurity. But next up, we've got our MP5. I think the I think I called the other one an MP5. It was definitely an MP5K. But it looks pretty good. So solid stuff there. Then we've got our boomstick, our shotgun. Pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for that. So here's that little kit right here. That's everything that that comes with. Very nice, very nice. And also with these guns, they all have barrel holes. Oh, and why do they have barrel holes? Because they've always had barrel holes since their inception, since their design. Hasbro just started to, to just copy off <laughs> Bobby Vela and try and steal his design and say, oh, you can put blast effects in it and then offer no blast effects with their guns, which is like, what are you doing? But, you know, typical Hasbro move. Just do shit before the other guy does shit and then not be prepared for class. You know, <laughs> typical Hasbro move. Um, <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> but so next up and last up, we've got our edged weapons. We have, holy shit. We have a, I don't know the names of any of these, <laughs> except for knife, which is, this is actually a really awesome knife right there. Then we've got, I should probably not hold it like that so you guys can see the full blade. An actual edged knife right here, which these are pretty dope. 
Um, it's got a serrated side on this side right here. As you can see, can you see it? No, you can't because my fat head's in the way. And the background's in the way now. Great. Anyway, I'll get up close and personal in a second with them. We have this. I think this is a comma, technically. We have your axe, your, your combat axe. And then I like to call these the the BFKs. A big fucking knife. If that's what it is. <laughs> And then we have this one as well. These do vary a little bit. So they actually are a little bit different. I'll just bring the camera over here instead of trying to do anything with my hands in the goddamn way. There we go. All right, so these two vary a little bit right in the handles, as you can see. There's still a BFK. This one's like a hair bigger than the other one. Then we have this knife right here. I believe that's a comma. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have this puppy right here, and then that knife right there as well. So pretty cool stuff. Really cool kit. Definitely worth the money. Um, this will definitely go to some good use with some other characters um, and such, especially like future Action Force figures. Um, so good, good pickup here. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's a comma. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate that. I figured it was. I just, for some reason, I just, I can't remember shit. My memory is terrible. Uh, I want to say that's launcher barrel moves too. The launcher barrel. Yes, it does move. The launcher barrel on the grenade launcher does rotate. Let's see if it's removable. I don't believe so. I might be wrong. It does rotate. I think that's all that matters, really. Um, all right, so that's all of the Valiver stuff. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, I showed you Lord Naga already from Vitruvian Hacks, which, you know, I almost don't want to even customize this guy because he looks so good. But everyone has a purpose, right? Uh, next up, I went to this booth and they, this guy was selling like a bunch of stuff, like just dirt cheap, uh, especially the Hyatoy stuff. So he had a bunch of Predator stuff. So I picked up these Predator Hounds and I'm going to, I plan on using them for something else actually. So, and I'll go ahead and I'll just open up one right now just to have some fun. And I have a, I have actually like a ton of time to kill. Uh, so... I'm in no rush for anything. We'll take these, these little these little guys out, and I'm definitely planning on using them some something with my joy toy figures. Some kind of like here there that looks massively awesome. So these were only actually 15 bucks, and I'm kicking myself now for buying not buying another set. <laughs> Um, I could always go back tomorrow. There's one more day left in Joe Fest and pick both these up. But, uh, yeah, one's got an open mouth. One has a closed mouth. The mouth is not articulated, unfortunately. Or is it? Am I going to eat my words in about two seconds? No. The mouth is not articulated. So we got open mouth and closed mouth hounds. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more futuristic to go with your Joy Toy stuff, you want, like, Joy Toy versus Aliens um, type stuff or something like that. Or if you just want your Joy Toy figures to have a crazy looking hellhound. Um, Hiya Toys, man. They're, in the, they're within the right scale. And just to show you that they are within the right scale, let's bring in one of my favorite guys right here. And there's the hellhound standing next to him. So I think that's perfect scale. All right, buddy. And that is the Sergeant Major that I was just showing you, that figure from Joy Toy. Uh, they did have some Joy Toy stuff there. They had the Fear Mech um, for 110 at a booth. Uh, it was actually the same booth that I bought this, um, the, the Coup de Gras, which I'll show last. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't pull the trigger. I was tempted to, and I was like, you know what? 
I got the Fear Mech 2, and if, it, if the Fear Mech 2 is anything like the first Fear Mech, then I might pass on it and wait for the smaller mechs to come, save the money. So instead, I still had to get something Joy Toy. I got this little guy, he was only 20 bucks, so I picked him up for 20 bucks. And his little window display here. I've got the other guy, I got his little brother, which was the rocket launcher dude, but um, which I think I, sh I showed you guys in that uh, one, uh, I think it was the meeting set, the Joy Toy meeting set uh, diorama. But this guy looks pretty cool. Pretty fun to have these little robot arsenal things. Ooh. Sorry, I've been up since 7 a.m. I'm kind of tired. It's getting there for me. It's getting there. Okay, so next piece I got um, at this um, same was it the same booth oh, it was the same booth i got the hellhounds um and for some reason i don't know why but this figure goes for stupid ass prices uh like 40 bucks i'm like anywhere from like 35 to 40 bucks which i just think is just too much for these figures and that's the masters retro line manny faces uh i owned one manny faces in my life it was the vintage one i the the <laughs> The, uh, sorry, I just like spit everywhere. Um, <laughs> the, what was it? The Motu Classics one was, is just unobtainable. Um, I'm not spending a hundred dollars to get Manny faces from, so I was like, you know what? I'll get this. It's 20 bucks. That's the right price. Absolutely. I will pay 20 bucks. Um, you know, it's a little bit more than retail. I think it was like, what, four, these are like 15 bucks retail. A little bit more, but I'm also, you know, at a toy show. It's it's going to be a little bit more up in price. So 20 bucks, I didn't have a problem with that. I think it's it's worth the 20 um, So I'm happy to finally have a Manny Faces again. Because I know he's just he's going for stupid prices, man. Him and uh, Triclops is just, I don't know why. They're going for dumb prices. Juggernaut Jones, what's going on, man? I heard that the Joy Toy Warhammer figures are exclusive to China only. Oh, that's not fun, if that's the case. Uh, do I have to fly to China? Is that what you're telling me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, but that if that's the case, man, Juggernaut Jones. I hope it's not, because it would be really cool to get those. I think to make a whole country exclusive... When I think a lot of, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that buy these figures in China and overseas, but you're, you're, you don't want any of the U.S. market to buy these? I don't know. Whatever. Um, hopefully that's not the case, though. I hope. Um, bow before Zool. Oh, for the Hellhounds? I know, right? I am the gatekeeper. I am the key master. Um, <laughs> all right, so next up we've got, uh, there was the Dime Novel Legends booth. And initially I told myself, don't look at it, just keep walking. You're going to tempt yourself with buying something. And then I, and then I just, I didn't, I stopped. I stopped walking. I turned around and I went and bought, uh, Wave, I saw Wave 1.5 available there in hand. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. So, went ahead and got the Prospector. I told myself I wasn't going to go down this rabbit hole, but I did. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to do it, but I did. Uh, <laughs> then next up, we got um, the Gunfighter, which is pretty much, um, what you call it, uh, the gunfighter is Johnny Ringo. That's what he looks like to me. It looks like Johnny Ringo from Tombstone. Uh, we got the head honcho. Which is pretty cool. Head honcho looks nice. I, kind of, I really, um, really am excited for the sheriff, which is... What you call it from uh, Tombstone? Um, Sheriff, what the hell is his name? Oh, God, that's going to bother me. Something with an H. Herbie? No. It's something like weak. It's like a soft name. Oh, come on, hurry. 
up and load. Someone's gonna tell me before. I'm Daisy. I'm Daisy. If you do, uh, Behan. I knew it. Behan. Yes, Sheriff Behan, right here. And if you turn around to the back, you can see that is definitely Sheriff Behan, Sheriff Bitchhan. You know. Um, and then last up, we have Vaquero. And he is going to be your Mexican gunfighter, which is pretty sweet. Pretty awesome, man. And I can't wait for Native American stuff to come out. That'll be awesome. Um, I already have the exclusive right here, this guy. I'm just waiting on this guy to get done. So, waiting on that. There's the Dime Novel Legends. Uh, we went through all that stuff. Let me get rid of that. Let me go back to here so I can see the chat. Want to grab one to make a revolver oscillate? Yeah, you should, dude. These, are, I mean, these are fun. These are definitely fun figures. Um, I told myself I wasn't gonna get into it, but I did buy that bar scene, and then I bought what was it? Uh, I think my awesome girlfriend bought me a. What well, bought me? What was it? The Marshall, which is technically. Um, which we call it, uh, Wyatt Earp from Tombstone. She, she and I, we love Tombstone. We love anything Wyatt Earp. Um, but, uh, including the Kevin Costner Wyatt Earp movie. You should watch it. It's long as shit, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, still think Kurt Russell's a better Wyatt Earp, to be honest with you. A little bit better range, but that's just me. <laughs> But, and who else did I get? I got the bartender, and you guys saw that. And then, who else was it? Bartender. Oh, I got Quigley. Quigley, one of my favorite uh, Westerns. So, it's pretty awesome. So, I did get a couple. All right, last piece. Here's the big piece that I got. And it's, it's actually lar larger than I thought. That's what she said, right? Um, <laughs> but <laughs> here we go. Um, so I saw this set, it was at a, the same place that I bought the Joy Toy thing from, that had the Joy Toy Max, and I was like really tempted, and then I look over and I was like, oh, there's the Sky Strike from the core, and it's sold, shit. <laughs> and it was for like, I think it was like, like 25 bucks, the Sky Strike, so someone got it like, for a good price, and I was like, damn it! And it was like, I think it was like within the first, like... 10 minutes of me even walking in like someone had bought it up that quick so i was like i looked right next to it and i was like well there's the other thing i was looking for which i've never seen in walmart and they stopped i guess stocking these in walmart which was the the rock mountain this shit is awesome and it's huge that's what she said um but it comes with one two three four figures um a bike a uh, little helicopter fang type thing. Um, it's it's got a removable door, a sliding door right here. It's got a ladder right here. It actually does have some paint applications on here, some paint paint like speckle and stuff. But this thing is friggin' huge, man. I'm gonna put this with my Cobra Mountain, and this will be like part of Cobra Mountain also. So I think that's what I'm gonna use that for. And it does come with some weapons. Comes like a harpoon, two harpoon guns. Uh, assault rifle, a knife, two knives, and a handgun. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Um, but turn around to the back, I mean, you guys can see how crazy this shit is. Like, this shit is huge. That's crazy. It's pretty awesome, man. It's got like a walkway right here. It's got a missile silo right in here. Look at that detachable missile silo. Damn. And it even comes with a comic. A little mini comic, too. Like, I just... Whoa, I did better. I'm definitely going to use this. I don't know, man. Now I kind of want to use this with my Joy Toy stuff. <laughs> I just... I don't know. Maybe this will be like the underground... Or the, the, the hidden base or something for them. But this is, this is pretty awesome. 
It's really cool. There's a little mini comic right here. There's Time Crisis on it. This is pretty dope. Let me get up close. I'll do a full review on this. I, I have to. I feel like I, I just have to do. Something this large, you have to do a <laughs> uh, review on it. It's 24 inches tall, in case you're, you're wondering how exactly tall this is. So it's 24 inches. And it even wants you to shut the door. There we go. We'll shut the door, and then we open the door. And then we shut the door. And then we open it, and then we shut it. And then, okay, that's enough of that. Um, but pretty awesome stuff. Um, I think it comes with two villains. Does it come with the new bodies? No, it doesn't. These are the old bodies, I think. Nope, he's got a new body. That guy right there. I think he's a newer sculpt. He's an older sculpt, I think. Take another look there. He might be a newer skull. He's definitely Swivel's troll, I think that is. That's a troll. But this is really awesome. I cannot wait to unbox this and get this going. It's got a, a, a fully working wench with a cable. Um, Multi-action and play features. Ooh. The global fighting force of the future. And beyond, oh my God, uh, revolving hinged top door. Pretty sweet. Like I said, detachable missile silo, missile and silo, excuse me, and uh, gunner and figure balcony. Barricade door missiles right here on the side. So right here, this little door opens up and there's missiles in there. Then you got the front door right there, and that could definitely fit a vamp through it, I think. We'll have to test that out. That might be a little deceiving there. Maybe not a vamp, maybe an awe striker. Um, but this is pretty awesome. And I got it for a really good price, so I was pretty happy. I was happy to even see one of these. This was the only one there, and I'm just very pleased to get it. It even has a little flag in the back. So... If you end up, if you guys ever see this, pick one up, grab one. It's worth it. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, do you guys have any questions I can answer about Joe Fest? Um, I, I uploaded uh, the other, I think my Valiverse video should be uploaded right now. Um, used with the Eagle Force figures. That's a good idea, Woodman. I could do that because the Eagle Force doesn't really have anything. Yeah, actually, that does sound like a pretty good idea. Maybe I'll use it with them. I'll give them a place to, to display. Eagle Force and um, I got Dime Novel Legends, uh, the bar scene, so they can all go in the bar and hang out and shoot each other. <laughs> the core are no slouches with vehicles and play sets. Sheesh. I know. That's what I'm saying, man. I just wish that, you know... Walmart would start would would stock their stuff more. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's the Lennard pulling out from exclusivity with uh, Walmart, but I feel like they don't just Walmart just doesn't restock their shit, and then it's like we have to go to like toy shows to find this stuff. Which don't get me wrong, I love going to toy shows, but you know, toy shows are a whole event. It's like a one or two day event, it's like a full day event, you know. Uh, you may have said already, but those, but will those Marauder Con exclusives be sold on their site? Um, they said that some of the geared up ones will be on the site. I'm definitely, I would definitely, uh, I can say with confidence that the Viper, the Cobra Viper that they revealed yesterday, the Cobra Viper, the Cobra, the Alley Viper, and the, I think they called them like the data trooper or something, but it's really a Cobra bat. All three of those should be on the site after Joe Fest. The reason why it's not up right now is because all the guys, literally every single person from Marauders, I think except for like Marauder Ruben, I don't think I saw him there. Um, I, the majority, I'll just say this, the majority of the Marauders guys were at this event. So a lot of the stuff that the site's just not up to date yet. I'm sure when Joe Fest is over, give them a day or two after, they'll have the stuff up. Um, just be sure to check the Marauders Inc. website, marauderinc.com, um, 
for the availabilities and stuff. Just check them like once a day and they should have them up. But yeah, if you're on the Facebook pages for Marauders also, they'll, they'll announce when they're going to put them up and then you can go check them out. So yeah, anytime, anytime, Magnus. Uh, the core Griffin is probably my most, yeah, I, I asked the guy cause he had, all he had was like joy toy and core. And I was like, how are you my favorite booth right now? <laughs> you, all you have is joy toy and the core, like how the, you are my favorite person to buy anything from. So I actually got his, um, what is it? His brochure. Where is it? I just saw it like two seconds ago. Where'd you go, brochure? Here it is. So, Cost, uh, what is it? Uh, Cots World Collectibles is the name of the person. How long is Joe Fist? It's uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, so Saturday and Sunday, they're open from 9 to, I think it's like 10 at night. And they close right at 10. And then, I think it actually might be 9 o'clock they close. But um, on Friday, it was 5 to 10. So they opened up a little bit later because it was a weekday. And they wanted people to be able to get a chance to, like, everybody get a chance to, like, see stuff and, like, be able to get exclusives and stuff like that. Um, so they started at 5 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock on Friday. This way people didn't have to take off of work and miss out on something. Which makes sense. It is, I'll say this, Joe Fest is a very small, much smaller event than what people are used to. So, like, when you go to it, you could essentially see everything in one day. Um, unless you want to go to a specific panel. Like, I went to the Marauders panel, which started at 8 o'clock on Friday. Then I wanted to go to the Retro Blasting panel, which was today at, what was it, 10.30 or something like that. Um... Then I wanted to check out 3D Joe's, which was right after the Retro Blasting panel. Then after that, it was the Action Force panel. So, the and the panels are a lot easier to get into, like, because it's such a smaller community, the Joe community. So, it's, there's a lot less people there um, than what I was expecting. Um, I want to say there's probably more people there on Saturday, and there'll probably be more people there on Sunday, too, just giving people time to, like, you know, figured logistics out and stuff like that. And some people still work on Saturday. So Sundays, usually more people have off. I'm going to check it out in the morning and then I'm going to head home in the afternoon. Um, so, and there's a couple other things I want to check out. There's also another company called Longbow. And I believe their panel is tomorrow. I'm going to try and catch it before I leave. If it runs too late, then I might have to bail before but they are a company that are trying to make O-ring style figures um, like the old vintage G.I. Joes with O-rings and everything. But they're all new original characters, um, I guess. I just actually heard about this, what was it, uh, a day ago, a fellow booth person I was talking to, a fellow collector, I'll just call him. Uh, really cool guy actually from my area and uh, he's from Rochester. He was actually really cool. I should have, I don't know why I didn't think to <laughs> ask him his damn name. I'm such an idiot. Um, but uh, he was really cool and he actually told me about that. So kudos to him. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, Longbow is the name. I believe on Instagram you can follow them. It's called CS Longbow. Let me double check that for you guys. Yeah, it's CS Longbow, and that's what the logo will look like. Sorry, I have a bunch of glare. But if you want to check out their company, they're going to be doing a bunch of reveals tomorrow and talking about that stuff. So if you're interested in those type of figures, I know there's a lot of people that are, that are vintage Joe collectors. Um, you've got an option for yourselves, you know, instead of just uh, kind of getting the old same old stuff. Uh, there's actually nothing in this bro <laughs> this brochure. He's got Joy Toy stuff in here. I don't see anything with the core in it. It's all like 12 inch figures and Joy Toy stuff. Maybe I'm mistaken. They probably have it at their shop, but he had just sold the Griffin 
before he sold the Sky Strike jet, uh, plane. And then this was like the only thing that was left. And then he had a bunch of like the other stuff from this this uh, new core line. Um, but it was all stuff that like are either kind of rehashing a little bit. So I was used to it at that point. Um, or I have them, most of the stuff. But this I definitely don't have. This is, I think, like a, those one of those special sets that people will remember. Um, it's pretty awesome. I'm really happy. And there's even like a ladder on the inside. On the other side of this, there's a ladder going up. It's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Wait, hold on a minute. Am I seeing that right? Can I detach that piece? No, you can't. Uh, for a second, I thought you could detach a piece. Never mind. I'm staring at this thing too long. But um, so if you guys are interested in any of that, like I said, if you're looking for core stuff, this guy might have some stuff. So reach out to him if you're looking for that stuff. Um, it's C O T S W O L D, Cotswold uh collectibles so pretty awesome and he does carry joy toy stuff um and for the most part he was pretty decently priced i didn't really have any uh issues with any of his prices there were some people there that were like like nitpick nitpicking like two dollar differences and shit i was like bro never just never mind <laughs> i'm just gonna walk away from you <laughs> Um, some people wanted to barter and other people just would not have that shit. Um, and to me going to a toy show, if you're a vendor, you kind of have to accept the bar there's bartering going to happen. It's, it's, it's kind of that, that's the forum, you know, is bartering. So I don't know for the most part, most of the vendors were really awesome. Um, I got to chat with a, a bunch of people. Like it was kind of like a whirlwind the first day. Um, especially with, with this going on, with Marauder's Mayhem going on. Um, and then today, it was like one panel after the other, after the other, and then I wanted to pick up Strident and and Dem Guts uh, some stuff too. So, But I'm going to check out tomorrow. We'll see what it's like. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any other questions for me while you're here? He said, yep, I'd go broke if I went. <laughs> yeah, Imperial, hol Holocron, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cots World. I didn't, I didn't even know about him until I just met the guy there, and he was, he was a really nice guy. Both of the guys that were working that uh, vendor booth, was, they were really cool. Um yeah, every, like I said, if you guys have any other questions about the Marauder stuff, like I said, I uploaded all the videos to the Strident Facebook page and to my Facebook page, ODC, that's me. Uh, if you want to check that out for all of the reveals, like I said, I did upload, even though I didn't want to because it's sh sh shit quality. I did upload the Vietnam stuff, so if you guys do want to check that out, you'll be staring at it like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if you really want to see it, go ahead and <laughs> you can, <laughs> but I didn't want to upload it because it looks like shit. So, <laughs> did I check out the G, G, Gija, G, Giga, Bet, Giga Bread? He has one hell, 112 score. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him. I saw him. Yeah. I saw him. He has like. He had, yeah, he had a bunch of, like, weapons and heads painted. He had, like, the Heat Viper, and he had, like, a fucking... What else did he have? He had a whole bunch of stuff. Um, he had the Heat Viper. Who else did he have? The Strato Viper head. He had a bunch of stuff. And then he had a bunch of, like, submachine guns and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I did check that out, Dumb Guts. Um... You might have you might have met Greg. He's awesome. Just bought Cotsworld and moved it to Texas from Washington. He's been expanding into one eighteen scale. Yeah, that's awesome. We, we gotta save that one eighteen scale. The people just these com these big companies just don't give a shit about it. You know. Um, 
Oh, the Saw Viper too. That's what the that's what the other one. Yeah, I actually saw that Saw Viper, and I was like, "Ooh, that's tempting." <laughs> there was actually a, a guy that did a bunch of one eighteen scale customs too, um, and he was with the. Uh, oh boy, there was there's another guy that was doing like that did all customs of like the flag and stuff, and they actually had a really cool um, a raffle too. I didn't enter it. Because I have the hor I have the worst luck available. Uh, I promise you guys, I have horrible luck, and I never win shit. Like all the raffles that they did between what was it, even Valiverse and Marauders, I didn't win shit. <laughs> I did not win shit. I never win anything. I'm telling you. So <laughs> when I say that, it's the truth. I'm not bullshitting. Um, but what was it? There's a there was a really good raffle for they were giving away a USS flag in box just giving that shit away giving the flag away plus five hundred dollars cash that was first place prize second place prize was like i think like four hundred dollars cash and then you got some extra prizes and then third place was like three hundred dollars cash and you got a couple prizes or something and then there was a fourth place one with 200 and then 100 and then another one and then the it was crazy. They're just giving away a bunch of shit. But I'm not gonna enter because there's no chance in hell I'll be I'll be like you placed thirty out of or you know there's two hundred entries and I'll I'll place two hundred out of those entries. <laughs> so I just don't I don't even bother with with with, with uh, raffles and stuff. Uh, that's why I always rely on myself to get something. I never rely on anybody else to give me something <laughs> the flag would have been nice oh yeah and it would just fit in my car <laughs> it would just fit in my car because i drove down here so um <laughs> it would just make it in because i got a i got a gti so gti's are small But yeah, I definitely think that Joe Fest is is definitely worth your time. It's a lot more intimate. It's not as bumpy, too many people, loud. I don't know. It's not as obnoxious as like Star Wars Celebration was. Star Wars Celebration really just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, I just want to get the hell out of here. Um, New York Comic Con was kind of like that. I don't think I ever need to go to another New York Comic Con. It's just too much, too big. I don't, I'm not a real big fan of large crowds of people. That's just me. Um, for too long, I can deal with it for a little bit, but when it gets to be too much, then I'm like, all right, I gotta get the hell out of here. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, because it's a smaller crowd, it's a much smaller venue. I think it's it's a lot more fun when things are smaller. Kind of like back in the days, back in the... I remember the, what was it, the mid-90s, I'd go to a, a, a comic convention, and, like, there were actual comics there. Like, holy shit! To, like, look through. And they had graphic novels and stuff. Now it's like you go to a comic convention, and it's like, there's, like, one booth with comics, and <laughs> it's all expensive shit. It's all, like, $600 or more for a... A graded comic um and I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit but you know <laughs> it's mostly like toys and video games and movies and stuff but this one i want to say it was very very on point with the theme like you go to joe fest you're gonna get a bunch of gi joe stuff so um Happy accident. What's going on? Yo, yo, yo. How you doing? And Funko Pops. Yes, there was a booth with Funko Pops. I looked at it for half a second. Thought I was going to turn to stone. Because it's Funko Pops are the drizzling shits. Um, I thought I was going to turn to stone. Like, like It was Medusa staring at me. And I was like, I, I, I can't not look. At, I, can't, I can't. Just don't look at it. Just keep walking. <laughs> Finally slept for an hour. Oh, shit. You have sleep apnea? Happy accident? My girlfriend's actually a sleep tech. She's she's a boss. 
sleep tech though. She's like the boss. She knows she knows her shit. She's been doing it for like 15 years. What's my highlight so far? The highlight? Oh, it's probably a combination of the Marauders panel and the Valiverse Action Force panel. Um, that and this this big boy right here. Yes. Um, those are probably my highlights. Um, and getting to talk to people. like got to, I got to hang out and talk to and introduce myself to Michael French from Retro Blasting. Got to talk to him for a minute. Um, got to talk to Bobby Valla for, for a little bit. Um, you know, meeting other people. You know, I met that one guy, the one dude from Rochester I was talking about. Um, he was really cool. Um, we got to kind of hang out during the whole Marauders thing. Um, shoot the shit. Um, everyone's just, like, very personable. Like, you'll just start talking to someone for ten minutes and then... You both go your separate ways, and it's cool. You know, like, it's <laughs> just how it is. Uh, happy accident. This is the Core Rock Mountain Stronghold. It's 24 inches tall. It's pretty big. Um, it's become very kind of, I guess, sought after. At this point, it's relatively new. It came out within the last, like, I want to say within the last year. Um, it's really not even that old. Like, let me see what, what date it says on the box. Yeah, 2019. So within the last, like, year or two, this is not even that old. I'm still looking for the Sky Strike, and I will find a Griffin eventually. Eventually. As Pixel Dan would say, very cool. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. All right. Does anybody else have any other questions? Because I might end the stream here. I might try and take a nap because I have to go to. There's a like a Valiverse after party or whatever for Action Force and stuff. And I guess a bunch of people are going to be there. We're all going to have you know some some beers and stuff. Shoot the shit. So. Um, did I grab any Joes that I wanted or needed? No, I didn't, really. I did not grab one G.I. Joe. <laughs> um, I didn't. I honestly did not buy one G.I. Joe. Not, not a single damn one. Um, I, you know, if I go tomorrow and I see something I really want, but to be honest with you, I was, through, through the whole convention, I was like, you know what? As far as G.I. Joe goes, like, I pretty much have what I want. Like... I don't, I don't really know. I don't have anything on my list. Maybe that'll change in the future sometime. But I don't have anything on my list right now that's like, I got to get this G.I. Joe, you know? Which is weird because I'm at Joe Fest and I didn't, you know, I didn't purchase any G.I. Joes. Um, uh, the only Joy Toy sets that they had there were, they had both versions of these this one with the gatling gun on it and then this one the the rocket launcher one um oh yeah sorry Ooh. and then um what was it they had a bunch of the sets that were re revealed what was it they had the the jetpack guys they had all four of the jetpack or all five excuse me and then what else did they have um there's a couple other booths that had, or vendors, excuse me, I keep calling them booths. Uh, there was a couple other vendors that had some of the three packs that have, that have come out that we're pretty much used to at this point, like the the Star, the War Stars three packs with the comic and everything. Uh, enjoy the show. If you see Fixer or Andrew M from Call to Action Show. Tell him I said, woo, woo. I will. Absolutely. Happy accident. Absolutely. Um, I actually was sitting next to Fixer Joe during the whole panel and everything for uh, Valiverse. I'm sure I'll see him tonight, too. Um, but Andrew, I think he just posted a video, or not a video. He Andrew just posted on the Legions of Valiverse Facebook page. He just posted a the photos of... The celebrity reveal, which I won't say who it is, Tim Kennedy. Uh, but um, the celebrity reveal, which was revealed in the videos, 
which I posted. And but he actually got up close and personal with the the, uh, the figures, so it's pretty awesome. Um, and then he got what, what else did he get? Oh, the other reveal for I think it's Wave Three or Two. I don't remember. My brain's not working right now. Uh, but there's going to be a you know your traditional looking Sergeant Slaughter with sleeve with like a the the wife beater or whatever the tank top whatever you call it the black tank t blah, blah, i can't talk the black tank top and um so pretty cool there so definitely check that out he did post those those photos so i posted all of my photos um but i didn't see the celebrity one and which is named duster duster and then uh, sergeant slaughter um Bobby also did reveal that there will be a Sergeant Slammer uh, release coming out. I think it's like like only 500 are being made. That's what he said at the panel. It's all within the video. Um, it's just all it is is the same Sergeant Slaughter figure in Series 1. Just different packaging that says Sergeant Slammer on it. It's got that traditional um, Action Force colors on it. So... Just a little bit of an exclusive, which he even said, yeah, I know, I'm doing an exclusive, but... <laughs> so he's kind of making fun of himself there, which I thought was uh, intriguing. Um, Renegade Biker, how you doing, buddy? But yeah, the, the panel was a lot of fun. Um, um, a lot of, like I said, a lot of cool people. Um, I think that's, that's probably the highlight was just cool people got some cool stuff that I can review now. I'm doing all right. How about, how about yourself there, Renegade? Uh, but do you guys have any other questions, or so I'll, uh, I'll get out of here. Other than that, um, I think the next time I'll be doing a video will probably be... I'll probably try and find some time on Monday. But I do have a whole bunch of time off, so... That's good! <laughs> you know? Having time off is awesome. With pay, which is great. Um... Uh, enjoy the rest of your show, buddy. Thank you, Woodman. I appreciate that. All right, well, then I'll end it here. Um, if you guys don't have any other questions about the show or any reveals or anything like that. Um, doing good. I'm uploading some videos right now, especially the Sideshow Rotating House and Lighted House. Cool, man. That's awesome. We'll be sure to check out Renegade Bikers' video. Any cosplayers? Yeah, there were um, there were some cosplayers more so today than Friday. Um, there was a couple on Friday, but majority of them were today. Uh, there was a Destro. Um, there was the Crimson Twins, and I'm trying to think, was it a? I think it was a Crimson. It was Destro Crimson Twins. And the Crimson Guard version 2 with the funky uh, gun that they had. And then what was it? There was a Sergeant Slaughter lookalike. And Sergeant Slaughter was there. So that was it was like two universes of Sergeant Slaughter meeting each other. But I did get to meet Sarge. He was a really nice guy. Just, just such a cool guy. And also I got to meet Ron Simmons. Damn! I had to say that, sorry. <laughs> and he did the damn for me, which was like, <laughs> uh, don't forget to grab that Baroness. Oh, there's seven of them available, I told you. <laughs> They're all in a row, all those Baronesses. Baronesses with the booties. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's, that's gonna wrap it up. Damn, I wish I was there. <laughs> you got, man, we should make plans, man. Jossie, next year, me, you, Strident, we get a bunch of people together, come down, be fun. 
There was actually, I was actually surprised people, there was a, a, a bunch of people, Ron Rudat recognized me. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, I know your face from somewhere. Are you on YouTube? And I was like, yeah. So that was shocking to me. I, I was like, what? So, uh, and then there was a couple other people that recognized me too, which I was pretty surprised about. So that was pretty awesome. Oh, that's what I didn't show you guys. I gotta show you that. Shit. All right, so, I almost forgot. Thanks for, I'm glad I brought Ron Rudet up. So, Ron Rudet had a, a booth, a, I don't keep calling it booth, uh, like a vendor booth. Um, but this was actually, before I get to the Ron Rudet stuff, the, um, what was it, uh, Marauders gave us a picture of the three figures that will be available on their website after Joe Fest. Um, just keep in mind, it'll be after Joe Fest, so give them some time to kind of get acclimated coming back from Joe Fest and stuff. Um, but here are the three figures, and they gave us this poster. So you guys can check it out. I'll try to get the glare out of the way, so you guys can check that out. There's the Alley Viper, there's the regular Viper, and there is the... Um, bet. And like I said, in the future, if you check out the Marauders videos that I posted, um, the bat head is going to be, there's going to be an actual bat head that's like chromed and looks like a bat head that you can pop on there. And then they're also going to be doing cyborg arms in the future. Um, I think those are slated to come out end of this year into next year the those accessories and stuff i think the actually the arms are supposed to come out in the fall and the heads are supposed to come out next year but still i mean if you pick up one of these or two of these however many you want um you'll be able to ha switch those heads eventually which is pretty cool um and they're also doing like a cobra commander helmet and stuff like that it's it's you know they're, they're going all in on customizing because they realize and we realize how crappy those 25th anniversary figures were and still are. <laughs> and now everyone's doing this. So that was the last little piece from the Marauders section that they gave me. Um, but the Ron Rudat stuff, so this is pretty cool. So you guys know I love me some Dusty. We all know Tater is Rudat twisted. Um, but I did get to meet... Ron Rudette, he gave me a signed card. He did this, uh, he had this these sketches available. Um, he signed it for me, signed the card, which is pretty cool. Really nice guy. Um, and then I also, I had to get, I had to get this painted stalker. It's just so, so great. Love it. And you guys know, I, I love me some stalker. So I got that. These are gonna get framed. It's gorgeous. Can't wait to frame both of these. Um, I also have my sketch from Larry Hama that I can, I've just got framed finally. So that all that stuff will be together. It'll be a nice little display for the collection room. I can't wait to get this all, all this stuff settled and I'll just kind of, there we go. So really pumped about that stalker one. I kind of wish that this was painted too, but, or colored in too, but it's, it's okay. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with them. So that was the last little piece. I forgot. I completely forgot about that. I don't know how. It was sitting right over there. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that was, that was pretty awesome. Uh, twenty Yeah, the 25th anniversary figs for a bit were sexy, but from Pursuit of Cobra and forward, they're pretty, they were pretty good. Um... Yeah, action figure expert. I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. Yeah, twenty fifth anniversary figures. They were they were like they were good for two thousand seven, <laughs> and then it's like once you got to Pursuit of Cobra and even Rise of Cobra, like, ooh. and they I know I know Rise of Cobra used some twenty fifth anniversary stuff too, but. I mean, now it's like when you take a Joy Toy figure and you put it next. I know that's completely unfair to do. But I'll say this. While I could use the unfair excuse, it's kind of not that 
the fun fair because they're still releasing 25th anniversary bodies in the retro line. So it's like, how fair, uh, how unfair is it to compare now? Uh, but anyway, I digress. I'm still sticking with these and Marauders. I mean, look at this fucking figure. So good. And it even comes with a display stand. A proper display stand with actual stuff on it. I love this figure so much. He's awesome. And his head just came off. <laughs> eh. Meh. Let's see if I can get his head. Get your head back on. What the hell are you doing? There we go. Now his scarf looks funky. Funky baby like a monkey. He's got a big old scar on his face. He's a big disgrace, baby. That's right. He's got a big scar on his cheek. That's right. I love this figure. So many Joy Toy figures that I just look at them and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. Okay, I've got to harness my inner Ron Simmons. Damn. Sorry, I had to do it. But... Oh, do you see, do you pre-order, did I, did I, did I pre-order barbecue breaker snake eyes with timber? No, no, and no, I did not. I, I really just, I never gave a shit about barbecue. I know there's other people that like barbecue and that's fine. I just, I never really gave a shit about barbecue. I, I know, I'm, I'm like, I'm into like firefighters and cool figures like that. But I just, I don't know. I just never, never gave a shit about barbecue. I just, I just don't know why barbecue is a priority in the line this early. It just like, just what, what where's blow? What's next? Blowtorch? God knows we got enough of him in the 50th anniversary. <laughs> I have one Marauder, but I want more. I got the females with lots of purple and Halloween colored gear. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Nice. Happy accident. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say the 25th anniversaries su are for Sucky, but from Precious, Cobra, for, oh, uh, a Pursuit of Cobra forward, um, we're pretty much good. Or we're pretty much better than twenty fifth anniversary. Yeah, I know what you. I know what you mean. Action figure expert. I I, I felt you. I felt you, bro. I, I feel you. Um, I love barbecue chicken. <laughs> Me too. It's just delicious. It's delicious. It's more than delicious. It's delicious. Um, you guys are probably like, what the hell does that even mean? It's my girlfriend rubbing off on me. When something's so delicious that it becomes delicious. I don't know why. Just because A becomes before D, so it's all I don't know. And just I'll just shut up now. Uh, for Tony from Analog Toys. Uh, 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 Tony from Analog Toys was not there. I think he's. I think he, that that would be a expensive ass trip for him. Barbecue is delicious. <laughs> we got a bunch of Soul Drum. What's up, man? Where you been, bro? We got to we got to get together Soul Drum and do some wrestling talk. I know we don't we we don't watch we don't watch that modern modern shit, but we got to do another retro review, man. I miss our uh, our wrestling podcasts. We always have so much fun. I gotta try and get Zorpox on with us too. Zorpox is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Anybody else that wants to join our wrestling podcast, you're more than welcome to join. Absolutely. All right. Well, I will end it here. I will end it here. Yes, we do. Yeah, you're right. We do. I'm talking to you, Soldier. Don't, everybody else, don't look at me. I'm talking to you, Soldier. I'm calling you out. Okay, bro? 
I'm gonna write a pro I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a promo on you right now. I'm calling you out, Soul Drum. Me and you. Wrestling podcast. All right. Anyway. <laughs> um, happy accident. I'll see you later. Um, I will see you all later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much to the super chat. Um, super chat from Trek Yards. Thank you so much, Trek Yards. That was very nice of you. Did not have to do that. That's very kind. Um, but yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, thanks for hanging out. You know, I just, you know, that's, that's why I do this. It's just for fun. Hang out. Um, and yeah, this is a lot of fun. Ton of fun. I'm very happy with everything I have. Very, very pleased. Um, Liz, Liz Brown, <laughs> Soul Drum's wife feels left out. You know what, Liz? You and the macho man over there, Liz. Both be on the podcast, all right? All three of us will make fun of some new shit. <laughs> that's almost what I want to do. I want to just make fun of the new stuff that's just the, the, the drizzling shits, you know? Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'll let you guys go. Like I said, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Thanks, you know, just for, for the constant support. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you on the flip side.